Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Dungeons of Dreadrock. Uh, key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. This is gonna be kind of a, a puzzly zelda e kind of game, but it looks really nice. I gotta say that the artwork is like top tier. Uh, but let's take a look. I wanna I don't wanna go alone, sister. The elders chose you to do it. They chose wrong, maybe. Women are not allowed to touch a sword. Wow. Social commentary in my Zelda like? Uh, am I? I am controlling now. Okay. Am I also going in on me? A young boy is chosen to defeat the king of the mountain. So far, none of them have returned. This time, your brother was chosen, and you were sent to accompany him to the dead king's gate. Your order is to wait here, but your sorrows start to overwhelm you. Okay, so are we f we're following in after. There's a there's, there's a great sense of atmosphere in this game. I gotta say. Ooh. Um. All right. Are we avoiding this zombie? Oh. Am I? Okay. We can we can kind of avoid them. Rummaging through a pile of dirt. Move into enemies. I know this. This is this is something I'm very familiar with. Is this uh, a rogue like? Do you think? So it looks like attacking from the side is what we want to do. All right. Presumably, uh, your brother did go through this door. So how come they didn't smash it down? Chapter three. What? Were there two chapters I missed somehow? All right. We'll we'll, we'll figure things out as as we go here. All right, so I definitely want that key, yeah? Okay, so there's definitely a mechanism. Maybe we can uh, Legend of uh, Grimrock this and throw a rock on that pressure plate over there. Oh, or we could just find another pressure plate. I didn't like that spider. That was a, that was a very accurate spider. No, I hate it. I hate that spider. Okay. So we've got some we've got some pretty interesting um, puzzle mechanics. Um, nothing nothing we haven't seen before, but you know sometimes re-execution can can be a lot of fun. Um, you know. Oh, I don't like this spider. Oh, stop throwing spiders at me. Oh, they can they can shoot through walls, huh? I, I want to kill that spider. So we we uh oh, we're trapped in the web. I got him! I got him! Right before he was able to hit me, was this a was this a boss? I wonder. Am I gonna have to fight a lot of spiders? No, but for real, was there two chapters that I missed? All right, so we've got a bunch of people here. Oh God. I wonder, oh, these are people we have to be careful of? Oh, no, this person's okay. Hey, you, you there, you look familiar. Lies a hundred levels deep in Dreadrock Mountain. So, a hundred levels, huh? We'll see, uh, we'll see how things develop. Maybe I'll play to like level 20. So, we, we might want to kite this ogre around the volcano. Oh, volcano. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me, fountain. Yeah. I just, I wanted to see if maybe I could get away with attacking them without getting hurt, without without dying instantly. Okay, we should be able to go now. Oh no! Get that door open. I'm glad that you can like skip through that animation because that's going to get old very soon. Oh, the, the ogre is still chasing us though. Oh, this is, this is bad. Okay, so they, they got slowed down by the zombies. Come on. Nice, okay. Is 
So I'm assuming we wanna we wanna kill the the ogre here. It would be kind of fun if they uh, showed up on the next level, just as like, like a, a a a corpse pancake. There we go. That looks like a, a campfire. I wonder if I can do something there. Restore your hit points. Too bad you don't have any. That's a interesting message there. Um, are we going to get some health points later, I wonder? Where is the girl? She was supposed to wait here. I told you she was disobedient. Damn. All right, so... Uh, they were they were sent here not to to defeat a mountain king, but to um, die horribly. Is is what I'm getting? Uh, oh, interesting. So what is this? Yeah. Okay, I kind of saw that coming. So th th I definitely feel like there's a bit of grim rock in this game. Okay, that was uh, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Sip sip slurp. Ice cold mountain water, probably poisoned. There's some bizarre messages in this game. The implication is that they're, these are hints at mechanics from like other slightly similar games. Not the Zelda likes, but like the Grimrock likes. I have the Beholder. Okay, we, we find our first pressure plate that we need to stand on. Okay, we have a teleporter that doesn't do much interesting. This is, uh, this has got me stumped, I gotta say. I, I have, I'm not sure. Hmm. I need something. I need something to put on this pressure plate. Like, I'm assuming I have to go on this pressure plate over here, right? I, I would hope that I wouldn't have to do other chapters in a specific way in order for future chapters to be doable. I'm pressing buttons now. Gamepad. Retry hints. Where's the hints button? Give me a hint. Hit me with it. Hit me with a hint. I could really do with a hint. Pressing all the buttons until I get a hint. It's not working. Nothing's giving me a hint. This is one of those situations where I swear I've I've probably walked by it three times. With some effort, you managed to pull one of them out. Okay. All right, we did. There it is. Oh, that becomes a permanent thing. Yeah, so I, I figure um, the implication is that I should put the stone here, but actually what I need to do is throw the stone here. There you go. All right, so we've got a new mechanic. There's a lot of Grimrock in this game. I know that Grimrock was not the first of its kind, but um, it, it feels very familiar in a good way. Ah, I needed to uh, keep one, those traps alive, didn't I? I need to use them on the on the ogre is what I'm on what I'm getting. I like the little blood fo footprints. That's good. All right. Will this kill the ogre? Do you think, or will I need both of them? I will need both of them. Nice. Okay. Can I go through this? I can go through this. Once the trap is done, it's uh, you can you can walk through it. Okay. We're learning multiple things in one lesson of time and space. What? Okay, so I can't go forward at all. I'm assuming maybe I can kill them if I'm fast enough. Yes. There we go. That was a weirdly placed trap. Just, just in case you did it correctly, we want to... We're gonna we're gonna hit you with a fireball maybe. For me, for me, for me, you'll never get the key. Okay. Clowns. Oh no. Okay. Well, so we want to trap him, right? We don't want him to be in the room that has a loop. What? He went upstairs. Ah, that's what that trap was there for. That's pretty clever. I like that. All right, what did this do? Oh. Oh, so those are going to spawn in zombies. Oh, God.
I want I want to know what she has to say. There's a lot of zombies here. Wow. What a mess. Anyway, I just came to help. I figured I owed you. I got I got a bloodstone. I'm glad I took the time to go and talk to her. I thought I I, th I thought I had it there. This really does remind me uh, not just of Grimrock but of like you know old games almost like you know Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia, it, it's got some Prince of Persia vibes. I know it's not like a, as action based as Prince of Persia, but like, you know, the kind of puzzles that are, you know, very lethal. I, I like this. This really does um, feel reminiscent. I got to make him shoot into this teleporter and then move out of the way. There we go. Tricks of the mind. I have to say, I really appreciate how novel every floor has been. It's no puzzle has been, has felt like a kind of a rehash of a previous floor. Okay, can I go through this after all? Nope. Maybe I can walk through this. Yes. This is a really curious part of the game. I'm not sure what the point is. But maybe it's for, just for cutscenes? To, to give us a, a, a sort of um, an update on what's going on? Open the goddamn gate, Lucius. The king awaits us. We are being followed. Kill the intruder and feed her to the watcher. Is that is that a clever way of calling a, a beholder so that we don't get sued by Wizards of the Coast? What a twist. The protagonist can't remember, but the player can. What a twist. What? Minotaurs prefer to charge it, attack, but they can do a melee strike as a fallback in close quarters. Oh god, they're fast. I think I need to get them to run back and then I have maybe enough time to... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, that's that was not enough, actually. Okay, uh, interesting. Oh, there's a there's a switch here. I always miss the switches. They kind of blend in for me. Oh, he's gonna need um, three traps, huh? Oh, uh, he's gonna need four traps, actually. There we go. I like, again, I like the little blood flip, uh, footprints left by the Minotaur. That's a nice touch. Oh, that's where we use that. Okay. Maybe everywhere everywhere where there's a bug, we pull a switch? No. Maybe the torches. Yeah, it was the torches. Well, we're past level 21, and this is pretty, uh, pretty engaging, I gotta say. I've been expecting you. Oh. Can I... I can, I can keep that. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Oh, we, we throw it on the on the thing. Then he'll get it back and throw it back. There we go. And then we'll just get him to throw it back at us and then we'll throw it at him. Perfect. Maybe in one of those <laughs> For the record, yes, it's actually the same place. Good to have that clarification. Just in case I, I wasn't sure. Ooh, are we gonna have like a change? Ooh, change of aesthetic of style interesting so we can shove these guys onto switches maybe all right you can't kill them but you can move them around oh no, no more minotaurs oh why did i do that that was that was really dumb i thought they liked to take a wind up hey did he grab the key he did what a jerk we're gonna have to kill him the old-fashioned way oh he killed me a lot of attacks to kill this guy. A lot of attacks to kill this guy. I'm assuming this is what we're doing. Maybe you can't kill him this way. I'm starting to feel like I can't kill him this way. And I have to actually progress and then maybe he can he can be killed on the next floor. Yeah, he is following me. Good. Okay. Uh, what? Yo, what? Oh, wait a minute. There's a switch here. I completely missed this. Cellar. Oh, he is dead down here. And so, okay, so what we need to do is we need to get him to get the key. All right. And then he'll be dead. We'll get the key. <laughs> 
The interlude is a little odd, I gotta say. I, I feel like just like snapping to the next floor would be just better overall. I don't think that uh, the levels necessarily need a title. If you do want a title, maybe you uh, you just kind of flash it over the screen for a moment. This is a nightmare. Yo, this is this is a nightmare. Okay, I, I think I see it. That was close. You're you're gonna die, clown. I guess you're not. I guess you're not gonna die. Is the clown gonna follow me? So I have two, three potions now. Four, four potions. Oh, I get it. I get it. I see. There's a there's a there's a tell. Um, okay, so this one's gonna be green. Uh, I guess this one's gonna be. I assume that one's blue. This one's gonna be yellow. This one's green, and then the other one's red. Yes? No? Uh... Hmm... I'm not sure how I would do this differently. Is there... There's no switch anywhere, right? I'm not missing a switch. That, like, see-through one? Oh, I get it. I have to fill it. I have to fill it. Okay, there's always a... There's always one other thing going on here, so I gotta put... Can't solve this puzzle. You might as well refill your water rations. Yeah, now it's blue. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. That was clever. I, I appreciate that it wasn't as simple as just like throwing them down. You had to, I, I have to imagine, even based on the name, that there is a little bit of influence from Grimrock, which I, you know, I appreciate. And it doesn't feel like a, like a carbon copy. There's a couple, there's a little bit of overlap on some of the mechanics, but like for the most part, this game has been like completely original and I, I, I really enjoy it. I really like the puzzles in Grimrock. So this is actually a game I could see myself trying to trying to beat in my own time. Eternal Flight. This game is, a, is really cool. Um, that's going to do it for this. This is Dungeons of Dreadrock. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.